So, as you guys can suspect from this title, this video is gonna be a little bit more somber, a little bit more serious than my past videos. In this video called Experiencing More Heartache, I'm not talking about specifically going through some type of struggle you're going through your, in your love life. This is more so talking about the struggles that most men go through in life in general. And most of you who go through this are wondering, why am I the only one going through this? Look at my friend, he's living his best life. Nothing's happening to him, he's getting exactly what he wants. Why am I the only one going through this right now? It's not fair, life sucks. Well, in this video, I'll give you four reasons why you need to experience more heartache. It's a lot more beneficial than you realize. The first reason is tough times makes you stronger. And I'm pretty sure everyone's heard the classic quote, hard times create strong men, strong men create good times. Good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. We're just gonna focus on the first part, that tough times create strong men. Now it's a no-brainer that if you never go through any type of struggle whatsoever in your life, then you're basically not going to know how to navigate properly. This world is filled with twists and turns that you need to be prepared for in order to tackle it properly. Otherwise, you might think you're invincible and go through certain stages of life not even considering the fact that you could get jumped, bullied, harassed, or even killed, all because you thought you were invincible. While you're working in the corporate world right now, or whatever job you're doing to create yourself some type of name or money for yourself, you must understand that weak-minded people never succeed. They always come up with some sort of excuse to shift the accountability onto someone else. It's not really their fault that this happened, or the reason I didn't do this is because this happened, I didn't have time to do this or whatsoever, and then they complain and cry about it. No. Strong people, the strong-minded people, the strong-willed people will find a solution to the problem. Gather the courage to will to keep going and fight until the very end. And that can only be gained through going through tough, challenging times. You have to push yourself. For a lot of people watching, I know you guys watch anime. I know most of you people probably watch Dragon Ball Z. And every time Goku or Vegeta or whatever character is fighting, they're constantly in a battle that determines the fate of the world. And if they don't go past their limits, they are all dying. All of them, their loved ones, themselves, the whole world, they're all gone. They have to push themselves to succeed and gain the reward that they want to gain. And that's what you have to apply to your own life. You have to put yourself in challenging situations so that you can harden your skin, so that you can harden your mind. So doing something that you don't like, but you know is beneficial for you, those are some of the things that you can do to push yourself beyond your limits. Maybe going for a cold punch after a workout or even hitting the sauna for more than 20 minutes. How about going for an extra mile run or beating your mile time? How about showing up to work 30 minutes before to beat your competition, get some work done and start a new thing? Push your brain, push your body, push your mind, your will to the limits by embracing the challenging times. And after doing so, you pretty much know that nothing can really stand in your way because you've been through those experiences. Any weak-minded fool who's lived through times of peace would never know a taste of what you've been through. It could never have the ability to challenge who you are. The second reason to experience more heartache is to bring you back to reality. A lot of us live in this la-la delusional land and believe everything is all hunky-dory, which it might be. Your life might be actually fine. It might actually be chilling. You might actually have no problems in the world right now, but a lot of people take that for granted. And again, like I mentioned before, they may think that they're invincible, that nothing can happen to them. I'll give you an example. It's gonna be a very light one. Have you ever been driving, listening, blasting your favorite music on a hot summer day, absolutely no care in the world, and all of a sudden, all the crashes the car right in front of you. And now all of a sudden you, you start to lock in because you could have died or you could have killed someone. A very light, slash morbid example, but you get what I mean. It's not totally a heartache, but it is a really challenging experience. Being able to stay in this realistic type of mindset will allow you to at least navigate problems with a logical perspective. So in simpler terms, it will lead you to stop making stupid decisions based on your emotions. A lot of people I know, me included, have this fuck it we ball mentality, do whatever without any regards to what's gonna happen in the future or what's gonna happen shit in like the next like 20 seconds. We just do it. That's all fun and games until you realize, mm, maybe I shouldn't have really have done that. I kind of hurt myself in the process and I may have hurt someone else as well. In my opinion, it's always good to think about things from a logical perspective instead of following your emotions. You start to feel more smart in how you do things. You start to feel more mature, a lot more responsible, which is incredibly important in this day and age because you don't see a lot of people using their brains in certain situations. And now a lot of people are struggling due to other people's certain actions. 
And by utilizing this, I'll help you realize how to not waste time with certain things or certain people. So whenever you think you're about to do something stupid, whenever you get the faintest thought that whatever action you're doing is stupid, try to bring yourself back into reality and start thinking from a more logical perspective. Think about the certain outcomes and think about who you may be hurting. Hell, even think about how much time you're gonna waste. Be smarter. Speaking about being smarter, make sure to download the free games called Kingster in the App Store. Again, if you wanna improve on your problem solving skills and your decision making skills, like I mentioned in the second reason, make sure to download this free game in the App Stores. Again, it's called Kingsters. I'll leave a link down in the description below. The third reason why you need to experience more heartache is because you've done it before and you've bounced back and now you know that you can do it again. Whatever trial, whatever error that you go through in life, say you didn't get the grades that you want, say you didn't even get the girl that you want, or you didn't even get the job that you want, now you're in this some type of depressing mood. You can't seem to get out of this funk. If this isn't your first rodeo, you know for a fact that within like three weeks to a month, you're gonna be back on the road trying to make a way to make shit happen. I've been there, a bunch of people I know have been there, and you can do the same thing as well. It may suck for the first three weeks, you're trying to figure out what life is at the moment. You're trying to figure out what this new stage is, for lack of a better word. And it's good to feel, it's good to understand, it's good to know who that person is at that moment. But just know that person who you are at that moment, who's depressed, who's sad, who can't even care to lift a finger up because he's so sad, is not the one that's gonna make shit happen for you. He's stuck in this negative mindset and you need to have a positive mindset to get to your success. And yeah, things, events, and people, they come and go, unfortunately. I know that sounds cold, but it is what it is. They come and they go. That's how time flows. Things flow like that. So that's why it's important to realize that no matter what bad thing you're going through right now, as long as you're not dead, as long as you're not physically dead, you have the ability to keep going. You're still here for a reason. That's just another opportunity for you to keep going and try again and make something work. If you're still here, you can make something work. Rely on your friends, rely on your family, rely on your close coworkers, whoever believes in you. Work with them if you can't do it by yourself. I personally believe that teamwork does make the dream work. This world is basically operated by business and businesses have teams. Teams that have different minds working together to make something happen. You don't have to do it all by yourself. Rely on other people, trustworthy people, not scumbags, not people who are scamming, not people with a negative mindset, not people who doubt in every single thing. Find people who believe in you, find people who believe in that vision. And understand that the fact that you woke up this morning is a whole nother reason for you to try again today. Today is your day to bounce back. So what's that one quote that people say? A minor setback means that a major comeback is on its way. <laughs> Love that one. The fourth reason to experience more heartache is because now you have the experience to guide others who don't know what to do. You have the experience to now help others who don't know how to help themselves. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm the oldest of two younger sisters and I didn't really have a older role model from the time I was growing up up until I got to like my early 20s. So it's kind of hard to find someone to really confide in, to really ask for advice, especially with certain situations I was going through beforehand. But I did went to an all boys high school. So I had the chance to rely on some of the juniors and seniors, the older upperclassmen for advice when they weren't beating me up. But that's besides the point. Allowing myself to at least confide in another individual at that time not only made me feel better, but gave me hope that I can do the same thing for another individual going through something that they don't think that they can find help for. But it is hard to relate to someone that you don't really know <laughs> what they're specifically going through because you've never been through something like that. So I'm not saying that you have to get yourself in different situations, dangerous situations. You don't have to get yourself into trouble, but it does, <laughs> but it does kind of help because now you can use your experience to relate to another individual who may be going through the same thing. So while I won't recommend putting yourself in dangerous situations, try to put yourself through more good neutral situations such as going to more social events, start volunteering more, start talking to different people and see what they do outside of work. Maybe try to join a new club, gain new experiences, travel some more, you know? 
because within those type of activities, something's bound to happen. Whether it be good or bad, something's bound to happen. And you can relate that experience to someone who may be going through something similar. It's always good to gain more experiences so that you can use your knowledge to help others because someone might be looking for someone to confide in or to learn from. You might just be that person that could save that person's life. But yeah, those are four reasons why you need to experience more heartache. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share to someone who needs to hear this. Other than that, develop a prodigy mindset and tackle your problems with everything you got. I believe in you. Take care. Peace.